Welcome back to Marriage or Hell No. Today, I want to share a video that I came across here today with the community. It's one like you see with typical stories. You know, a lot of women out here making bad decisions about the men that they choose to get involved with. But fellas, today, I want you to look at some examples of women that we should avoid, too, because we have to take responsibility here as well. So without further ado, I'm going to share the video. But before I get going, I want to say thank you to everybody that's helping this channel grow. It really means a lot to me. And we're also sp spreading some good information for gentlemen to kind of tune into and make sure that they're recognizing the signs along their journey. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is my first baby daddy, um, Ace. Uh, he is a fucking ladies man. He is fine as hell, bitches. I had to fight everybody over this man. But I was number one, so it didn't matter. <laughs> um, I truly believed if he wasn't murdered that we would have had all of our kids. What? <sighs> Fellas, I mean, she's doing a little bit too much for me at the end of the day, but let's just keep learning a little bit more. Together, and we would probably still be together till this day, only because the simple fact is I'm a dumb bitch, and he's in love with me. Told you stay away from women that be calling themselves B words and calling you N words and all types of stuff, referring to themselves in third person of the lowest thing out there in life. But let's just keep letting it go. But whatever. I would give him a seven out of ten. I don't really like that he was like always in the streets, but so I'll give him a seven to ten. Love him to death still to this day. Um, zero out of ten for dying. That was Did you just hear that? You know, it's unfortunate that the brother passed away and I don't know what type of lifestyle he was into, like she mentioned in the street. But fellas, we got to be able to do better in that sense. But also, that's the type of man that she chose. But, you know, I don't like speaking upon the dead like that. So I'm gonna let the man rest in peace. But, you know, she just mentioned zero out of 10 for a man that she supposedly was her first baby daddy and, you know, talked about him passing away. So, mm -hmm. fellas, you already see where this is going. I was fucked up. Really fucked me up with that one. This motherfucker here. This is my second baby daddy, too tall. Um, he's a piece of shit. Uh, I think he has a few other kids. I've tried to find family members of his or baby mamas or anything to kind of connect him to my son, to his family. Cannot find anything. No one's ever reached out to me. No one gives a fuck. He hasn't seen his son literally since he was like two or three, four months old he's only seen some like two times didn't come to the delivery even though i called his phone asked him to come gave me 80 dollars when i had the baby and that's all the money i've ever gotten from him he's been on child support for like three years and haven't seen him die so he's a loser but yet and still after her first experience that she had with a gentleman who might be running the streets you know he passed away you know but that's the type of man that she showed that she was into so what does she do the second time around? Does she wisen up? You know, as men that we go through on our journey, we would always say to ourselves, bro, we made a mistake. We learned from that mistake. You know, I used to have an old sales mentor that used to tell me the best lessons in life, life are the ones you pay for. So I had to go through a lot of sweat equity to really understand a lot of pain. But what did she do? She could have said, you know what, let me just not mess with a certain type of guy, but that is the gentleman that she chose. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, brothers got to do better too. But there is no way. You know, a lot of these women do a lot of complaining. But at the end of the day, these are the type of men that they choose to be with. They don't want to be with a nice guy, but then complain when a guy treats them like crap. But let's let it keep going. Zero out of fucking ten. Awful. Would not recommend. This is my third baby daddy. Why am I? Um, love the guy, great guy, <laughs> cheater, but a great guy. Um, good stepdaddy, takes care of his family, pisses me the fuck off, ready to fight him. Um, I give him a eight out of ten. He's all right. That thing, good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hang on with the kids, no problems there. He's just a fucking weirdo. Anyways, what did I give him? Eight out of ten? Nine out of ten? Fellas, you have it. 
this is absolutely insanity. So she loves the guy or the, her third baby daddy in this case is the guy that cheats on her, but she loves it. She loves it. She absolutely loves it. Talking about that. That's what she wants to experience. And fellas, this is the type of woman that might end up with a fourth baby daddy next, next year. So fellas, when you're on your road, you got to make wise decisions, but certain women, bro, you got to stay away from, and that's just, that's the moral to the story. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm out.